Well, how are we doing out there? I hope you're all spot on and thanks for watching the video. Now I've been shopping. I've been to Asda. Come and have a look where I've got. Having a little walk around Asda as you do, I came across these. Now, I thought I'll do a comparison. I have done a few comparisons of pies, but not this one. Uh, it's a pucker. New recipe. Meat and potato pie. It was in the fridge. And alongside it was this, Holland's potato and meat pie. I thought it's got to be a comparison. We've got to see the difference. Well, in the price, they were £1.50. and pence. They were exactly the same. However, the pucker was on a, a rollback. Its original price in Asda is £1.90. and pence. So, £1.50 versus £1.50. Let's take a look at the packaging. So let's have a look at the pucker pie. Before we go to the other one. Um, what's that? Love our meat and potato pie. Right. Um, let's have a look. So it's a GB sticker there, I see. Produced in the UK by Pucker Pies. Leicester. Um, they are the ingredients, so it's a meat and potato, uh, allergens are wheat, flour, barley, milk in there. Meat and potato, so for me it says diced potato, minced beef and rich gravy in a light puff pastry. So for me a meat and potato should have more meat than potato, I would imagine, that's just me. Let's have a look. Contains wheat flour, calcium carbonate. Let's have a look. Potato, 24%. Beef, 18%. So why is it called a meat and potato? Why don't they just call it a potato and meat? Because they all used to be called meat and potato, didn't they? And then they all changed the name to potato and meat. Oh, it's a big debate, this one. It's a big debate. It really is. Growing up, it was always... Meat and potato. Anyway, so we've got 24 and 18%. Uh, some nutritional information. If you want to pause that and have a look at that, by all means, go ahead. And there are the heating instructions. From chill, 25 to 30 minutes, 190, gas mark, six and a half. <laughs> or you can do it from frozen. Ah, so where's the weight on it? Well, I'm going to have to weigh them because I don't see any weight on there. Um, amount per pie, 533 calories. There's no weight on there, is there? No, we're going we're gonna to wait. So let's have a look at the Holland's pie. So there are the ingredients in there. So this is a potato and meat pie. Potato, 22%. Beef, 10%. So that is a considerably less beef. You've got 24% potato in here, 22 in this one. You've got 18% beef, you've got 10% beef. Wow. Yeah, look at all them ingredients. Oh, look at all them ingredients. And I notice on this one you've got a flavour enhancer in the pucker, MSG. So there's a the nutritional information there, if you want to have a look at that in more detail. 397 calories. There is in this one. Um, let's see the ways to cook the little GB sticker on there. Um, Accrington, Lancashire, Hollands. They were always Hollands for me growing up. Um, <clears throat> there the oven, 200 fan 180 for fresh, which this is, 15, 20 minutes. Alternatively, you can do them in the microwave if you wish. And I have done pies like this in the microwave. It'll be my pie playlist. So let's get these open and get them weighed. Before we weigh them, I'll read this bit of spiel out. A mixture of diced potato, minced beef and seasoning baked in our unique golden short crust pastry. Ah, both minced beef. So let's, let's get these open. Do we need any scissors? No, we don't. Straight open, that's good. Oh, it's a bit squashed. It really is. Oh dear. Yeah, it's been a bit squashed that one. So let's have a look at the pucker. Comes in a box, look. We don't, no tab system, we've just got to try and get into it without breaking the box. Oh, yeah, I mean, I'll get them out of the foil trays and I'm going to weigh them, but, yeah, you can see that the pucker is, is you know, is, is, 
it's, it's bigger, isn't it? So these are, I'm going to weigh them on these scales. These are a lovely gift sent to me by David Winfield. Thank you very much, David, for that. Right, I'll get them on there now. Now we'll get the pucker on first. They are at zero. Look, if you can just see, I do apologise about the shadows. So there's the pucker, 221 grams for the pucker pie. I've just took the, the Hollands out and look at the bottom. <laughs> the indentation. We'll put the, the Hollands on now. So 221 versus 185 grams. So that is, um, that is less, isn't it, than the pucker pie. By what, um, by a, like considerably less. So I'm just preheat. I'm preheating the oven now, and they'll both go in the oven. One will go in for the pucker will go in longer because it takes longer to cook because it's bigger. And then I'll put the Hollands in. And if you like this um, video, give it a thumbs up and maybe consider subscribing to the channel and let me know which is your pie, which is your favourite pie. So I'm just having a look at it here. It does say there's. A, it just say it may also contain traces of soya. Um, and it says, um, do you, every care is taken in the preparation, but product may contain bones. It does say that on the other one. And I have to note as well, a different pastries. Um, this is like a puff pastry. Um, and, and this is a sort of a, a short crust pastry. So when we were in um, Aldi yesterday, I picked these up. And the new, I'm new, um, um, pickled pink onions. I'm new. So they, we have opened them. We had them yesterday. And they are really they are really tasty. <laughs> there they are in there. I'm going to get one out and give it a whirl again because they thought these will go well with the old end. These were one, one pound twenty nine pence. That's quite a lot on there, isn't there? Just to get a little taste. Mm. <laughs> oh, they are good. Oh, they are good. They are tasty. So let me just, um, I'll, I'll put you down, I'll show you what's in them. Well, onions, we know that, but we'll, we'll, we'll have a little look. A little bit closer. Yeah, yeah, they're good. Um, a little bit of spiel there, look. Sliced red onions, pickled in white wine vinegar and spirit vinegar. There's the ingredients there. Red onion water, well, no allergens, 340 grams. I'm new. A little bit of nutritional information. They are tasty. They really are. My my wife loves them. She does. Nearly both. Um, they're done. Just maybe in a bit of better light. Looking good. I'm uh, going to get into them. So before I do, before I do, I'd like to say I did um, a video yesterday on a bow bun kits from Aldi and the top three comments I'd like to not read out but I'd like to give a shout out to them for their kind comments uh, I have written them down it's Irish spongy top comment thank you very much Michael Feeney thank you and Peter Clark thank you thank you to all three and everyone else who commented it was 365 comments all together right let's get into these pies we're going to have its case. You to cook them in the, the actual foil case, it says. So that's what I did for the time required. Um, I'm going to get a knife and I'm going to get them chopped in half. We're going to look inside. Autopsy time. So it's fair. We'll get, that, get them bottoms cut. That's inside. Don't look too bad, really, I don't think. I mean, obviously, that's... Got a bit of an air gap in there, but you, you get that with these pies. You get our air gaps. Unfortunately, would like it, love it to be right the way to the top. Is minced beef and potato. You can see the pepper in there as well. I do like pepper in my pies. Right, let's get the other one opened. Oh, I can't hear the birds singing. Oh, that one's half cooked. That one's um, pretty much done. Put that there. Completely different, isn't it? This pie, it does look like it needs a bit more time. It's a bit pale looking. But there, look at that big chunk of potato there. It's just a shame the pie was a bit sort of creased. Um, there's the bottom. 
of the pie. It's a bit soggy, to be fair. It's a little bit soggy. And this pie is, is not. That is not soggy, that bottom. That is cooked really well, the pucker. Depends if you like short crust pastry. Sorry, short crust or puff pastry. It's all falling apart, that one. Yeah, so... Yeah, it's a shame about that, really. Um, but, you know, like I say, it's just the state of the nation. I'm going to get into this one first. Can you, can you see okay? I hope so. Mm. <laughs> it's well seasoned. Oh, I'm liking it. I am liking it. It's well seasoned, yeah. Um, it's tasty. Um, I'll, I'll just get in for some more. I can't really... My initial thought is, is it's tasty. and that, That's always good. I'm happy with that. But we need to have a look inside. And you need to have a look inside as well, what you're spending. So you've got your chunks of potato. and you sort of, yeah, Your minced beef is really minced as well. No soggy bottom with this one. Mm. Got a taste of the pepper as well. It's good. It, it's tasty. It really is. It's well seasoned. Probably that flavour enhancer. I don't know, but it is, it's well seasoned. It's, it's quite salty, but I don't mind it. I do like my salt. But it's just the old meat and potato, you know, um... You think, oh, more meat than potato. Let me know your thoughts on that. It's a bit of a debate, isn't it? So, yeah, it's a bit soggy, this one. I've got a soggy bottom on this pie. Um, it was cooked exactly the same as the other one in its foil tray. Sat on, the, sat on the baking tray, you know. It wasn't lifted off or anything. Mm. Totally different taste, but the top of the the rim of the rim of the pastry is is um, got a bite to it. It's crispy. Um, I'll have a look. Have a look. It's tasty though. I do like that one as well. I do. There's the potato. You, the, the potato in this one is a lot more sort of pronounced, isn't it? You can see it more. But like I say, the minced beef is sort of like, it's a bit mushy, isn't it? It's bad lighting here. Let me get rid of that. Let me, let me get a bit of light in here. Could do some spotlights putting in. You can see better now. It's like a mushy sort of, well, that's mushy as well in there. It's darker, that one. I like the Mullins pies. Apologise talking with my mouth full. Just part of them um, reviewing, I'm afraid. That's just the way it is. Just the way the cookie crumbles, as you say. I like them both. Equally like them both. The one I would buy would be the Pucker because it is, it's, it's the same price. It's the same price, 115. You're getting more, you're getting more weight, more meat, more potato. It's equally as tasty for me. But would I pay 190 for it and would I feel like, oh, I'm getting more meat than potato? If I bought it and not looked at the back until I got back home, because how many people look at them, look at the ingredients when they buy stuff? They look at that, the first title, don't they? Meat and potato. Now, they've always been meat and potato for me growing up. They changed the name, don't know what year it were, to potato and meat because, for some reason, probably because there's, there's more meat than potato. It's cheaper. So would you feel aggrieved? I don't know. Let me know. So thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. I really do. Uh, take care. All the best. And I will catch you on the next one.